GP does here. Today I'm selling this painting on an eBay auction for about 10 days. If you're watching this after the fact, this was sold. Um, well, hopefully. I put the minimum bid a dollar plus shipping, so maybe it's not even worth a dollar. Maybe I still have this one for sale forever. Um, GP. I noticed last time I signed it, you couldn't see what I did in the back, so I grabbed a marker this time. GP does. Garrett Perry. I'll sign it yesterday because that's when I painted it. October 19th, 2023. And then I'll just do a little. A little picture of a cat. So that's what the back of it looks like. And that's what the front of it looks like. And a starting bid a dollar. Much love, everybody. Okay, here we go. Now this is going to be a really fun cat. Have just two eyes. And then, ooh, yeah, that's going to be an eye there. That's going to be an eye there. Give it a big old nose. And then just a big face. <laughs> just a big old face. Mm, kind of squared a bit. Just put an angle there. Square angle. <laughs> I'm using water and just the littlest bit about paint, you know, because I want this to dry as I'm painting it is the idea, but that never really works. All right, let's see. I kind of want to give him some goofy arms. And then, yeah, this one is just goofy armed right off the canvas. I also want to make his body big, but you can't really tell that his body's that big. All right. Just cover that. That's, that's just white paint on top of that smudge there. <laughs> um, yeah, that should be fine. That should be fine. Should be fine. Okay. So, I want that impressionalism style. I want that paint to be seen. I do, I do, I do. And the, one of the best ways I find of doing that is to just um, not joke around, man. Just do it. Do it, do it, do it. I knew what colors I wanted to use, so I kind of mixed them up beforehand. I haven't used any of the colors I mixed yet. Ah, got some blue mixed into that white. A little bit more than I wanted. Okay. Now with that white, same white brush, I just mix in some red. Just a little bit. Maybe I'll need more. <laughs> I might actually put another layer over the nose in time. Oh yeah, actually I like that color. It's just a little bit darker. It's a little bit darker. Okay. Now I need a big old brush because I'll be doing a lot. Uh, mix up my orange. I said I mixed them all up. Um, I also had some gel medium added to the paint. So this color here and in the background I find will have the most um, in the paint stripes. I am selling these on eBay and I hope to recoup some costs of paint. Um, just so I could continue to paint every day. 10 paintings a day right now is what I'm doing in this style. 
And I'm just doing that to get an excess of practice. You know how they get to Carnegie Hall, don't you? Directions to Carnegie Hall? Like, I'm literally trying to get to Carnegie Hall, and everybody just tells me practice. And I'm like, God damn it, I'm going to be late. I have tickets. <laughs> What would a painter do at Carnegie Hall? Come watch me paint live. I used to do a painting podcast with my friend, Mr. Normal. But it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work to paint portraits. So I kind of stopped doing it. Well, it wasn't really taking off. I did 16 episodes. It just, I don't know, it feels like it's a lot to ask my friend to come over for really no reason. I could just use a picture as a reference and it'd probably turn out better. Live mortals. Live mortals. It was nice telling people in my streams, though, that, oh, I gotta go. I have a model coming over. I'm painting a portrait. And then it's just this um, 30-year-old bald man. <laughs> it's like, hey... When you said model, I was picturing a girl. And I'm like, he's just my friend. One of my oldest friends. Should almost just do it just to hang out with my friend. Well, that's kind of a part of what it was. Damn, those are some goofy arms, cat. Damn, son. Where'd you get that cat? Oh, I got him on eBay. I should put, like, the URL to the eBay. Not to the uh, YouTube listing. So people would type in this URL code and find the painting. That'd be a really neat idea. It sounds like a lot of work, though. <laughs> This brush wasn't cleaned out properly. I don't know if I want to use it now. But I broke it apart fine. It'll be fine. I was thinking about doing a brush care video. I think it would be pretty funny because I abuse and use my brushes like none other. Alright, this is a huge slab of red paint. Let's just get it started. Yeah, son. Damn, son. Where'd you get this? This is a huge brush, actually, for these little corners. Ah, I'm getting some orange. Mixed up in that red. It's not so bad. It'll just lighten up the orange, the red a little bit. The yellow and the orange will offset the brightness in the red. If it was black, or blue, I mean, it would darken it up. I've had some mixed results with mixing my own black. Because it really depends on the temperature of the color you're using. Like if you're using a red, it could already have a lot of yellow or blue mixed into it. And same as if you're using blue. So one of my most successful blue recipes was just at the time my red and my blue mixed together. Absolutely no yellow. And it made a beautiful black. But that is inconsistent. That is not a recipe that I could pass on. That's just something I used at the time. Right now I'm using black paint. I gave up on black paint for a little while. And now it feels nice to be back. I've been using, uh, I have some green in a tube, some orange in a tube, which for a while there, I just cut that out of my painting life.
Hmm. I used some gel medium in with the red. It looks a little inconsistent to me, but I have a feeling it'll dry a bit better. I don't know. I've been painting for 10 years and I'm still learning. I'll always be learning. Let's just hope I never stop learning. <laughs> All right. A couple more paintbrushes to go. A couple more colors. So let's just go straight for the black. <clears throat> This is just a Mars black. It came with um, a group of colors. I bought a group of five colors because I wanted to test out a new company's brand of paints. I'm really happy with them. But at the same time, the biggest reason why I was looking for a new company to buy paints from is because of the freaking store where I buy all my paint from. This <laughs> is so inconsistent. I mean, they'd sell out a paint So I might be back to using Chroma paints, but this is a mix right now of Chroma paints and Windsor and Newton. Okay. And then just a couple of eye shines as I call them. Mmm. 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 I just feel like I should go in with a small brush now, go back to that orange, and just kind of fix and kind of see some under colors here and there. I'll just kind of fix that up while I'm here. Because I don't do any editing to my paintings after the fact. Once it's done, it's done. And it's usually done in front of a camera or just in my notebook. Oops. No. That's some red mixed in there. That's okay, it'll just darken up the orange a bit. If you got blue mixed in with that orange, it would muddy it. But the red will not muddy it. It'll just darken it up. <sighs> I'm really scared to add any more. I kind of feel like it just needs a little something something like a darker darker orange almost brown and just for the underneath it is brown Looks a little haggard now. I kind of like that. <laughs> All right, I think this cat is done. Much love, everybody.